Okay, fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Y'all, it has been, I, you know, I really never think about using this word, but it is appropriate for this time. It has been a very tumultuous time for me. For the past few, like, girl, really the past few months, okay, but the past few, you know, days, weeks, have just really been throwing me for a loop, okay? This is my, you know, I just did my hair a few days ago, and this is my first time, like, actually, like, seeing it, seeing it, because... <laughs> Girl, of everything that's been going on, all right, to where I'm just looking at this, and I'm like, this is really a vibe. I did my thing on these. I really, you know, I whipped the fuck out of these uh, twists. Anyway, y'all. So, yes, we're going to be doing a What's Up With The Planets video, in case you didn't know. We're going to be doing a What's Up With The Planets video for you guys. Uh, Venus entering Scorpio. I'm going to be putting out a couple of these because there is quite a few planetary transits. All right, coming in. Um, but this is going to be from... September 10th until October 6th, all right? This is going to be a little bit of a pre-retrograde energy as well because Mercury retrograde will be occurring during this time. Now, y'all know I'm a Leah. Okay, y'all know I'm a Leah. I have already been picking up on the retrograde energies, okay? 111. Um, and I'm like, girl, why, do, why does retrograde hit me so hard so early on? Like, I feel like I get the worst of Mercury retrograde before it even happens and i'm like girl is that my interdimensional energy let me move on so you don't have to be a uh, venus and fire sign order for this to resonate but you could have venus in a uh, fire sign and this definitely could resonate for you okay but you also have venus and scorpio you know girl every all, all the groups all the elemental groups will probably resonate with you somehow all right so check your sun and your venus all right and go to your uh Go to whichever reading you is, all right, girl. Y'all know how this goes. Thank you guys for all the continued support, bookings, likes, shares, comments, subscribes, and recommendations. All that, I truly appreciate it. All right, price and content information is in the description box down below. And all the spiritual businesses that I support will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. I look like a whole different person, bitch. It's the black hair. I rarely ever wear black. You know, red is my team. Okay, red is my team, right? Um, but I was like, you know what? If I'm doing a rope twist, because I call these rope twists. I think they're called Senegalese. All right, but sometimes I get the Senegalese confused with the kinky twist. I don't know, some of y'all might do hair, okay? You could be getting a variety of different things that people want, all right? <laughs> but um, when I did these, I was like, I, I, we, you know, maybe a brick red, but we couldn't use red because I feel like that'd be too much. So I was like, let me go back to the bed socks. All right, sure. So um, I said all the spiritual businesses that I support will be in the pen comment comments. I did, I did, I remember that. So, fire signs, we're going to be seeing, you know, what's your energy during this transit? Like I said, it is a little bit of a pre-retrograde energy as well because Mercury will be going retrograde during this transit. We're going to use this one. So, we're going to see what's going to be happening for you guys. I feel like there's two people living here. Like, if y'all can see my apartment right now, I feel like I've moved the second time. Like, I've been having to get shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm having to get shit, furniture and shit like that. If you see me, like, kind of, like, moving kind of funny with my hand, I stabbed myself. Can y'all see it? I stabbed myself in the finger with the screwdriver while I was putting together some shit. I see why the assembly option there, y'all. I've had to put together shit over these past few days, weeks, and it's just been like, okay. The, you know, th this was just, oh, it didn't hurt, but, you know, having it hurt. <laughs> Let's just say that it hurt. All right. Manny? Manny? Okay. <laughs> Fire signs. Manny? Ace of Pentacles. So during this transit, Venus and Scorpio, some of you guys could be uh, getting a large sum of money. Uh, could be receiving a large sum of money during this transit for what? I don't know. Some of you guys are putting this out for a certain travel situation. It could be by boat. It could be by ferry. What some of y'all by the islands or something? Calypso? Yes. I don't know. Some of y'all might, you know, be out by the islands, all right? Or traveling out to the islands. Yes. What's that shit called? The, is it Des Moines? I don't know why I just heard Des Moines. How do I, honey? Because I'm like, I just, I just don't want to feel, you know, weird, okay? But I heard Des Moines, but some of you guys could be uh, doing some sort of travel during this transit, and there's some sort of large sum of money coming into play regarding that, all right? So, yeah, I heard Des Moines, and I'm like, ain't that, like, desert area? All right, well, I did say travel, so I don't know. Maybe you going to Des Moines. Maybe uh, you leaving Des Moines. Is that how you pronounce it? Des Moines? Give me a minute. Just, just, just give me one second, please. Okay, please hold. It's in Iowa. <laughs> it's in Iowa. But I'm pretty sure that's like the desert, isn't it? I'm 
pretty sure that's like the desert, isn't it? Don't nobody say a word of you like, did she just say the desert? I did, bro. I did. I think so. I think it's the desert. <laughs> or west. West. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, it's farther out west than I am. All right. It's lined up with uh, Missouri and Arkansas. <laughs> Country. I don't know. Some of y'all might stay out in Des Moines. Something about Des Moines. I heard Des Moines. Des Moines. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and start. So, big sum of money. You guys could be receiving a big sum of money during this transit some way, somehow, and it's regarding travel. Leo, hey. Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. I told you it's regarding travel. Some of y'all, this is for like a rental. Uh, it's for the transportation, like how you get in there, all right? Or um, where the fun will be taking place. I don't know. Some of y'all going to be on a boat during this um, during this transit, during this Venus and Scorpio transit. But Leo, I see you traveling during this transit. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, uh, check your sun and your Venus uh, sign whenever it comes to watching these readings. Girl, that feels so weird shuffling like this with my finger. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Scorpio transit going to affect all fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Dumb. Yeah, travel, flight ticket, rental reservation. I just, who getting an RV? I heard it. Okay, somebody here. Uh, not an RV. It's not an RV. It's them big ass uh, travel buses. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you people, people be you know cross the country, or whenever people be doing them long ass road trips, it's not um it's not an RV. It's them big ass like a uh, party bus. Uh, I know that shit called mega bus or something like that. Yeah, y'all traveling. So Ace of Swords came out. Like I said, that's a reservation of some kind, a flight ticket. Um, some sort of something to do with transportation. So yes, yeah, some of y'all are definitely traveling during this uh, transit. Page of Cups. You might make some silly mistakes. Some of y'all need to be careful about making silly mistakes whenever it comes to traveling, setting any sort of reservation, paperwork. Just y'all, y'all. What court is this? You are. <laughs> Okay, we don't need you to be having that. So just be aware of making silly mistakes, of fucking up the, <laughs> fucking up the times, fucking up the day. Just pay attention, y'all, because retrograde is taking place. All right, so you're prone. Okay, no masego. You're probably prone to stay on. So, here, guys, how is Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, September 10th until October 6th in the year 2021. Eight of Pentacles, strength. Okay, Leo, do you just, you want to talk? It's been a while, I know, but I just did your monthly, hey. Okay, strength card, Leo energy. So, with the Eight of Pentacles here, Will of Fortune. <sighs> Girl, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mo. You're welcome, Mo. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys. <laughs> so stupid. You see how this is a fucking spiral, okay? Um, I don't know. Some of y'all might be watching that new uh, Jigsaw movie. I think it's called Spiral during this uh, transit. I don't know why I just thought about that. No, uh, shit. This is Halloween. Okay, the Halloween might coming up, so you might be starting a scary movie thon. Uh, but with Eight of Pentacles, uh, some of you guys feel like something is spiraling out of control, but really something is opening for you. All right, Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you have decided to take a new position, a higher position, a certain job, or you're just focusing on uh, something that you're putting time, effort, and energy into, right? Leo's, I'm seeing this specifically for y'all, but I'm talking for all fire signs, all right? Mystic! In the building, okay? High Priestess! Mystic, in the building. Yes, okay? High Priestess with the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you guys don't even know, like... I don't know. You don't know that you're moving on to a next level. It's giving me Mario vibes. All right, super. Um, some of you guys are moving on to a new level. I'm on a new level. Uh, buy me a new show. We'll put these niggas in the dirt. And you might have been, girl, thank you, Mishki. You're welcome, Mishki. Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the, uh, Five of Wands. Some of you guys that feel like you've been dealing with a lot of conflict, a lot of issues, a lot of delays, just a lot of all this in your face. You're going to be feeling like this, okay? Or you have been feeling like this, okay? Three of Pentacles is because you're starting from scratch and now you're building up, okay? Some of y'all, you know, there's been some, uh, <laughs> it's been some worn out nights. The times are where, like, the money a little funny. Eight minus three equals what? Five of Pentacles, which, which can be uh, being in a space of lack. But I see that being in a space of lack whenever it comes. Leo, you don't take over the reading. Oh, hey, Sage, I forgot you here. Hey, as soon as I say that, okay, everybody, you know, uh, pull up their seats. Thank you. Emperor in the Eight of Wands. So, Aries, Sag, Leo, come in. We talking to everybody, okay? 
some of you guys uh, have been dealing uh, with maybe a loss of income or taking losses towards your income because there's been some mix-ups. There's been some other uh, shit that you've had to take care of. I just feel like you're getting out of some entanglement. It could be a little entanglement with a person or it could just be a financial entanglement, okay? Something to do with your work, all right? What you do for income. And for a car, some of you guys could be in business for yourself. Some of you guys could be parents. Uh, some of you all are trying to, you know what I'm saying, find schooling for your kids. You're trying to get, uh, woo, y'all know, bring them out, bring them out, all right? Uh, <laughs> I almost said the word. You know, you two be striking down like lightning, all right? Some of you guys are trying to uh, figure out this whole um, Vaseline, this whole Vaseline situation with the kids, the uh, mask, NJs. They can't, girl, I could be talking about the movie, okay? They don't know that. Uh, but some of you guys have been dealing with that, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, Effects of this panorama, all right, uh, five of swords. Girl, it's a lot of five. Go ahead and prepare for that retrograde energy. A lot of stagnancy, miscommunication on your part, okay, uh, on other people's part. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of that, a lot of fucking static, okay? Leo, <laughs> sun card, seven of wands, and the three of swords. Leos, you specifically have kind of been a little bit restrictive. Like, it's like, bitch, just somebody talk to me. Until things get a little bit better around these parts, all right? Y'all look funny. Uh, also, fire signs, you've been... Whatever. High Priestess in the Sun card. Some of you guys have been a very exclusive during this time. People have been wondering what you've been doing. Five of Swords. Um, all fire signs. This apply to you. Um, some of y'all... People have been wondering what you've been up to. Five of Swords. It's like, what the fuck? Like, what where you been? All right, I told you, you've been a little bit secretive, a little bit to yourself. You, uh, it's that Scorpio energy. You've been, you're gonna be very uh, to yourself during this uh, transit, or you have been already. I told you, I already been picking up on the energies, and people have been wondering, like, what's going on with you? Okay, you're 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 on people's mind. Okay, booty up, spirit guides, houses, Venus, and Scorpio transit going to affect all fire signs, Aries, Leo, hey, CH, okay, ten of wands, yes. A lot of hard work, a lot of burden. Some of you guys have been doing a lot of heavy lifting, or you have been. You might have been weight training. You might have got back into working out. Just you feel a lot of pressure. Some of you guys have some pressure built up in your shoulders. You need a massage, okay? And not that kind, because I see she's naked. And it's like, girl, what type of portrait are you painting? All right, ma'am, to where I had to be naked. Is it like that? Is it that sort of vibe? I don't know. But some of you guys do need to loosen up your joints, your muscles. Some of y'all do need like a, 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 um, yeah, girl, that shit hurt when I did that. <laughs> Y'all do need like a massage, something to get rid of the tension. All right, Ten of Cups. Some of you guys have been, I told you, you've been dealing with problems regarding your kids, but I feel like it's with outside shit, like, you know, schooling, uh, living situations, uh, supplies, I just heard. So maybe school supplies or just supplies for, you know, girl, I feel like whenever you have kids, you got to have a different shit and stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, first aid kits, ointments, and, uh, um, girl, I don't have no kids. Okay, so I, you know, they be needing shit, though. I know that. All right, legal situation. Some of you guys have been having to deal with justice in the night of swords. I don't know. Some of y'all might got a speeding ticket to pay off. Um, or some of you guys might be, uh, I don't know. You get some sort of legal documentation in Tamil talking, you know, and it's like, girl, what is this? It's like something happens fast. You like, bitch, another one. Okay. It's like you got to deal with another issue. You like, damn, bitch, can, can I get done with three? You know, girl, I'm trying to knock out some shit. Spirit guys, how does Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. September 10th until October 6th in the year 2021. Ten of Swords with the Magician. I mean, but you out here whipping like fucking Vietti in the kitchen. All right, but some of you guys are really, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, God. Let me get to that minute. Uh, but with the Ten of Swords here, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Swords, uh, I see something ending for you guys. All right, you're getting out of something. Uh, you're leaving something. All right. Um, yeah, I'm hearing all falls down. Don't be the reason to why shit just collapse in on you, um, fire signs. I was about to say Leo. So maybe you specifically. But with the Magician card here and the Seven of Swords, some of you guys need to be careful about art here. What here? Be careful about doing something fraudulent. Okay, you know it's fraudulent. Putting that bad energy out into the world. Yes. Okay. Be careful. Yeah. All right. Magician and seven of swords. Some of you guys need to be careful about frauding. Okay. Being fraud, doing fraudulent things. 
because it's in your it's i'm hearing it's in your hands okay some of you guys uh, are going to be in the position to get the opportunity to where you can do some fuck shit honestly truly whether it be lie to somebody take somebody's shit uh you, you know you know when you're doing some shit you ain't supposed to be doing to where it's like mm, okay because with the world card here this can also be a little bit of a boomerang energy for me. What you put into the world will come back to you. So be careful about that, okay? Uh, some of y'all need to sit your ass down for a source in the page of wands. Men, hey men, king of wands and the four of pentacles. Some of y'all need to be careful about... Um, okay, honey, this is a little deep. All right, but some of y'all men, you need to take a... Girl, I'm not your mother, all right, but um, some of y'all, um, you might need to uh, uh, handle a situation regarding a child a little bit better, okay, four pinnacles is either restraining yourself or regarding uh, spending habits or like doing whatever you supposed, you know what you're supposed to be doing whenever it comes to being a father. I'm going to leave that down, okay? Because it's not my business. But I see it here. King and Page of Wands is out here. So, I mean, y'all need to be careful about, like I said, letting your, um, just doing some fraudulent shit because you let your temper get the best of you. You, um, you just do something childish, okay? Magician and Seven of Swords and you wind up setting yourself back, okay? Be careful about what you're putting out into this uh, world during this time. You know Scorpio energy out here? Be careful about that. The clown comes back to bite, as Monique would say. But really, because of Scorpio energy, you will get stings, okay? Doing some shit you know you're not supposed to be doing. Spirit guys, how is this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, September 10th until October 6th in the year 2021. Three of Cups with the hangman. What's this? What's this? All right, so some of you guys, hangman, you might feel a little bit uh, held back from um, partaking in certain things, whether it be going out, you know what I'm saying, being around certain people, hangman, the four swords. Some of you guys, it might be a time for you to hang back because you know the Scorpio energy is going to make you kind of feel a little bit, you know, um, you know, like kind of like off to yourself. It's not giving me macabre energy. It's not giving me that energy, but it's kind of like, you know, um, you know how you know how Scorpios be getting. <laughs> you, it's that deep energy, all right. So where you kind of you know, I don't want to say you 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 tend to you know overthink things, but it's uh it's like maybe it's not a time for you to be around a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Hangman, hey the Four of Swords. I feel like because y'all have so much shit going on, it might be you know just a time for you to just kind of be by yourself for a source. Just, Sort, sort things out. Keep yourself in a space the way you're level-headed. You're not having to deal with a lot of chaos. Now, if you got people around you who ain't involved in no shit like that, that don't apply to you. But if y'all know y'all got some, you know, some uh, some rowdy some rowdy rabbles around you or rowdy situations that you know kind of throw your energy off, it might be time for you to go ahead and stay away from that, all right? Anything that can put you in this page of wands energy where you do something stupid, you go off, you fly off the handle, you just do something that you know a young rap scallion I'm hearing would do. So be careful about doing some immature shit, all right? And being around situations that cause you to do some immature shit or sway you to do some immature shit. Or you just doing it, okay? So here, guys, how's this Venus and Scorpio transit affecting booty up all fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, September 10th until October. I guess that wants to come out. Girl, that's so, it, it makes sense. I ain't feel it, Okay. Uh, we can see retrograde energy already with that five of swords. So hangman. So most definitely feel like things might be on pause. Things might be might be being delayed. Uh, some of you guys might feel like a job has your hands tied. You could be, you know, in different departments. You just do everything, all right? Or you just kind of feel like work is uh, prohibiting you to do other things. Maybe be around people. Um, enjoy yourself. The men feel like this most definitely. King of Wands. Um, uh, man, you, you taking on a lot. King of Wands, Nintendo Wands. Some of y'all, it's time for you to just put something down. It could be leaving a certain job. It could be getting away from a certain friend group. Shit. It could be, it could be being with a certain person. I see her. Okay. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys are holding on to something so tightly. Uh, one man, a job. Or just a friend. It's one of the three, honey, or all of the above. All right. Some of you guys are holding on to something so tightly. All right. Um. Uh, hold on. Uh, 
and it's really holding you back. Okay, hangman, you might be seeing how during this transit, okay, really getting to the bottom of things. That Scorpio uh, transit, all right? Oh, no. <laughs> uh. I'm going to just say it, honey, because I see it. And I'm like, you know, that, that's fucked up to say. Some of y'all might be holding on to some uh, earth sign lady who getting money from another man. And I feel like, I would say she keeping him a secret. I don't feel like she keep him a secret. I just think he know his place. That's some foul shit. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, my Jarvis Scott voice. Okay, four of pentacles, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. King of wands, okay, uh, somebody here don't fit, and I think it's, it's good, okay? Fire sign men, you might be dealing with some earth sign woman who you need to let go of. I'm serious, I'm, I'm being honest here. I feel like this lady holding you back, she getting money from another dude. I feel like she got another dude that, I mean, they a pair. It's kind of like, no, he ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere, even if she with you. Three of Cups is out here, so kill most definitely be a third-party situation. Oh, freaks? Freaks? I don't know if y'all, you know, did some things, okay, with your lady or with your man, girl. Somebody here having two relationships. Let me just say that. Or, you know, somebody here, like I said, just know they roll. Do you know your role, Spirit guys? How is Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, September 10th until October 6th in the year 2021. I said get ready. Two of Swords with the Justice card. Ooh, jeez. Fucking finger. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Men, King of Wands with the Devil card, you really need to be careful about who you're surrounding yourself with during this time because some of you guys could most definitely have people around you that if they're not holding you back, they're in a space of being held back. And I kind of feel like with the Justice card, remember how I brought that boomerang energy up during this time? It's kind of like how you going to be in a certain like environment and not either adapt to it or have some things rub off on you. It's the same thing with people. Um, you might not notice it. All right, but you will pick up on certain things or start to absorb certain things around you. Some of y'all, if you know there's uh, toxic environments or toxic people that you're still uh, interacting with during this time, I feel like you're starting to see the effects. It could be physical, you're 22, 22, so it could most definitely be uh, be physical. It feel like your back hurting, your neck hurting. Uh, y'all remember that movie Shudder? Uh, to where um, uh, by the end of the movie, spoiler alert, it found out that this dude had kind of like did some inappropriate things to a young lady with I feel like some of his friends and some shit and they wind up killing her. He got into a whole new relationship, tried to, uh, you know, try to act like it didn't happen. Turns out he was having back problems when he was hunched over like this. Turns out the girl was ha uh, haunting him and she was standing on his neck. So I don't know if you guys have, you know, done some questionable things. Okay, devil card, you've done some questionable things. And you can't just, you know what I'm saying, just act like didn't shit happen. Okay, there's still going to be something attached to you. So this could be you dealing with people who you know ain't shit. Um, <laughs> who you know ain't shit. It could be to you or to others. Holding on to somebody that either they did they did someone else dirty for, for you. Um, or you did somebody dirty for them. Okay, and now you think, you know got a prize it's one girl because i'm not coming at anybody it's just what the courts are saying spirit guys how is venus and scorpio transit affecting all fire signs okay girl eight of swoo bring them out bring them out <laughs> eight of swords mental confusion mental uh imprisonment okay regarding the eight of pentacles something working out all right um mystic mystic you're out here girl mystic what is this I mean, okay, high priestess with the moon card. Trust your intuition because it's on a bend. Uh, right? Uh, trust your intuition. It's on a bend, okay, during this time. Uh, some of you guys might be seeing something come to uh, full, uh, come full circle around the full moon. All right, sun and the moon card is here. Something might get exposed during this time. Yeah, some of y'all, something might get uh, ex exposed within your family. Okay, there might be some family secret that comes out or some sort of secret that comes out uh, about a certain family member. Uh, okay. Somebody here just might be coming out, you know what I'm saying, in your family, you know. So it's just, you know, they live in, they, uh, they living in their truth, okay. You, you know where I'm going with that, all right. Um... For others, 
there's somebody here who puts you on a third party that you're picking up on that energy. You might have been seeing this person in your dreams or just feeling this person's energy around you. Uh, I'm hearing there could be some things that could be popping up during this time that remind you of a certain person who, like I said, puts you on a third party. Um, this person still thinks about you. Um, there's still some kind of like feelings towards you, but like with the page of wands here, it's like, I don't know, uh, uh, I was about to say Aries, okay, so Aries is probably for you, but this is regarding you, like it's somebody who maybe you dealt with when you was young, or it's just like, I can't deal with that person because they're young, uh, some of y'all need to be careful about dealing with youngins out here, girl, then I know it, alright, but some of y'all need to be careful about dealing with youngins out here, they're just not, we've seen King of Wands come out, it's like, girl, okay, Okay, be careful about dealing with people who are too young for you. Okay? Spirit guys. Spirit, uh, how is this Venus and Scorpio transit going to affect all fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Uh, September 10th until October 6th in the year 2021. Okay, I'm reloaded. Ace of Wands with the King of Wands. So me and some of you guys could have a new, uh, a new baby. <laughs> a child on the way during this time. Um... Somebody could be coming out. There's two kings here, King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So yeah, I told y'all somebody here could be coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is who I be, right? Honestly, truly. And I enjoy it. Um for others. It might be time for you to start making some decisions regarding some long-time friends. All right, Ten of Wands, Hangman, the Ace of Wands. Be careful about having friends that see you as an ATM. Uh, that could be, you know, literally, you know, you know, they expect financial help from you. I said expect, so it's kind of like whenever they get into, like, a jam and some shit, it's like, oh, you know, so-and-so got it. All right, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with helping out the homies or nothing like that. But like I said, if you're an ATM, or it could you be a certain situation where they're making more withdrawals and deposits to where they're always coming to you for shit, but you feel like you can't go to them for shit. All right, be careful about just being the uh, go-to for people, all right, because who you going to go to? Spirit guys, last card. How is Venus and Scorpio transit affecting all fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. September 10th until October 6th in the year 2021. Oh no, ma'am. Oh no, ma'am. No. This should never be in reverse, yo, because this is about going against your better judgment. about that fire signs um some of y'all need to be careful um okay so death card some of you guys can most definitely feel like you're going through like a lot of spiritual changes during this time they go to scorpio energy Ooh, double store scorpio judgment and death card some of you guys could be feeling like you're going through a lot of changes during this time shedding a lot of things um things that you put down you can't go back to 10 minus 2 of swords equal this 8 of swords here. Some of you guys could be in a new space during this time. Ace of wands, uh, new physically, new mentally, new spiritually. It's just you decide to walk away from a certain uh, um, a certain way of doing things and just, you know, improving yourself, right? World card came out. Be careful about backtracking, all right? Because this retrograde might, you know, present you opportunities to backtrack, have you in this space of 8 of swords, overthinking things, or where it's just like just keep moving forward. Chariot card and the Six of Swords for me is about not knowing where you're going, but just knowing that you need to go fa uh, go forward. Um, what's that? It's the song uh, Alex Eiley, La Bria. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, honey, but uh, what she says in the song, the lyrics are, uh, look how far you come. Um, look how far you come. Think about where you're going. Like, um, some of you guys don't know, okay? Like, things just seem real, like, fuzzy during this time. You just don't know how things are going to work out for you. And it's like, just keep moving. Keep moving, okay? Death card. It's like, you know when it's time. Sun to moon card came out. Things will be revealed to you when it's time. But as for right now, hangman, you do feel stuck. You do feel stagnant. You do feel like, yo, what the fuck am I doing right now? What am I supposed to be doing? Just relax, sit back, and enjoy the show. And just go through these endings, okay? And be careful about going against your better judgment. Most of y'all most definitely will be seeing something that you need to leave behind. Person, place, a thing during this transit, a way of thinking. 
All right, and you could have been going uh, against your better judgment if you don't let this go. Fire friends, that was you guys' uh, Venus and Scorpio transit reading, uh, sun and Venus in fire sign. All right, this uh, reading could definitely resonate in some places for you guys if you have them blessed months. Please like your video, leave a comment, telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel, check the description box for my pricing and my contact information to book a personal tarot reading with me. And all the spiritual businesses that I support will be in the pink comment in the comment section. We got some other ones to do, so let me go ahead and suit them. All right, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye.